Yo, what's up, my life, my style? It's your boy Kevin back again in 2021 with another style session. All right, everybody. So today's style session is on a crew neck sweater. I just picked this one up that I have on from Zara a couple weeks ago, and I love it just because it's a great basic that you can dress up or you can dress down. Other than that, yo, let's get into it. All right, for the first look, I decided to do just a clean black trouser. Now, I did decide to take it up a bit by making this one super wide leg and bell bottom at the bottom, which I thought was a new and different shape. I mean, look at how it covers a shoe, which I thought was a super dope detail. And I love the way that you could just walk and just show a little peek of the shoe. Of course, I mean, I got to get my groove on. So I definitely busted the move just to make sure how this look looks. And um, it's pretty much a go for me. All right, with the plaid trousers, I felt like this look needed something, so I threw on the bowler hat and the plaid overcoat, which I thought really stepped up the overall look. Just felt really smart casual for me. Um, and then also giving it that urban vibe with the little action in the shoes, which I also think could be super dope back to a pair of sneakers as well. Um, just super easy, super casual. I mean, and of course, I definitely gotta get into my groove thing. Um, which shows that I'm loving the look and it's definitely a go for me. Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice, Beetlejuice! Yo, for everybody back in those old school days, remember that horror movie, that's what these jeans reminded me of. But also the crew neck sweater was just an easy way to tone down the action on the bottom. So I really loved what this sweater did to that overall look. I'm, of course, I rocked it with my black and white Nike blazer mids and I'm dancing, so I'm feeling it. For look number four, I'm calling this the sporty suit just because it's not a traditional blazer and pants. It's more of a jacket and pants set. So I thought this was a cool interpretation and it felt really casual and easy for me. The crew neck sweater also was a great piece to layer under just because it helps you keep a little bit warmer in this kind of colder climate. So I thought that was also a cool detail. Without the jacket, it's super dope also. I mean, it's just really casual and easy. And also having a little fun with just a plaid pant felt very golfer-like to me, which I thought was a really cool vibe. And of course, like everything, I'm dancing, so I'm definitely feeling the look. Let me know what you guys think. Back to dark rinse denim is pretty much a 100% look for anything you're wearing on top. So I love this look, especially with the black scully. It gave it kind of a streetwear vibe. Then I even threw my jacket on top of it, which you guys see me rocking all the time. And it felt really dope for me. All right, everybody. So we just went through five ways of how you can rock just a simple crew neck sweater. Again, I picked it up from Zara. Very inexpensive piece, but great piece to layer into your existing wardrobe. Drop in the comments and let me know what you guys think. What was your favorite? What was your least favorite? What would you guys do differently? Make sure to check back next week for more style sessions and great styling tips for your wardrobe. And other than that, I'll holla at you guys later. Peace out.